Hi, we're here with this month Jacobs Graduate Student Council Award uh, winner, uh, Caleb Christensen. He, Caleb is a graduate student at the Nano Engineering Department and he's currently working on soft robots. Uh, Caleb, can you tell us, explain us a little bit what what is our soft robot and what's the motivation behind doing this kind of weird robotics? Yeah, so instead of traditional robots that are made out of rigid materials like metal or plastics, uh, the idea is that we can make soft robots that are made out of rubbers or, or polymers, um, so that way they interact more safely with the environment and the people around them. So in like a factory setting, for example, if you have a robot on an assembly line, they usually have to put the robot into a cage to keep the robot from hurting people. And so the idea is that if instead we make robots out of softer, more compliant materials, they can more safely interact around people. Great, and we are working in this particular environment, like in a factory, in the road, what's your working, working, currently working? So one of the projects that I'm working on right now is a soft swimming robot. And so the idea is that if you want to study coral reefs or um, fish underwater, that the traditional way of doing it is you have a, a large rigid box that maybe has a, a gripper on it or something, it has propellers that it's powered by, and if it uh, bumps into a fragile coral reef underwater, it could damage the coral reef. Um, and since it's also powered by propellers, uh, it generates a lot of noise and vibrations. And so if you're trying to study some fish, you might scare off the fish before you even get close enough to take a picture of it, for example. And so what I'm working on is trying to make a, a silent, uh, soft robot that can, um, if it bumps into a coral reef, it won't do any damage, and it'll move silently through the water. It moves um, much like an eel swims through the water. And the idea is that that way it will um, not startle the fish that it's trying to study. Well, that sounds very amazing. Underwater robotic science. But uh, you're also doing with some of your other graduate, fellow graduate students. You're helping it organize uh, each week the Robotics Graduate Symposium or Seminar Series. Can you tell us a, bit about, a little bit about what are your objectives and what does this symposium consist of? Yeah, so uh, Ben, she is another PhD student in our lab, um, and I have been working on this. Uh, robotics seminar series since October of 2016. <clears throat> and so the idea started when we were talking with our advisor, Mike Tolley, and the director of the Robotics Institute, Henry Christensen, um, that there's a lot of different labs working around campus on robotics, but there's not a lot of um, uh, interaction between those labs, for, at, at least at the student level. And so, for example, I know what the other students in my lab are working on, but I don't know what the students in other labs around campus and, other, and in other departments are working on. And so the idea with the seminar series is that if we have the students sharing their research, um, perhaps we could get different perspectives weighing in on that research. And so if I have a problem that I need help um, with on my research, I can, I can share that those problems with the, the greater community and uh, different students from different backgrounds can weigh in on it and provide some feedback and maybe things that I didn't think about. Um, and we can do that for each other. And so the idea is how can we um, break down some of these uh, disciplinary silos so that way we can build a community together. And, uh, approximately how many uh, presentations over the past year have you hosted? Yeah, so just this quarter uh, we've had uh, four different uh, seminars. Uh, we've had an average of 30 students each week uh, from seven different departments and from 22 different uh, research groups. Great. And what do you think will be the greater impact of the seminar series in the Jacobs community and in the whole city of San Diego as a whole? Yeah. And so uh, one of the ideas that we have is also bringing in uh, guest speakers. So, um, uh, so from different companies or universities around the area that are looking to hire uh, graduate students. So we, the, what would be nice is if we can help use this uh, seminar series to help students get jobs. Um, and so we do that by bringing in guest speakers that are maybe hiring um, or looking for potential graduate students. And then we're also, um, I've been talking to several different entrepreneurs and companies in the area that um, like the idea of what we're doing here on campus and want to expand it to integrate it with the greater uh, robotics community in San Diego. Great. And finally, Caleb, uh, you are almost, you are se almost a senior now. What do you expect to do with uh, your PhD, with your, all the technology you're doing now? You want to, what's your goal after graduation? Yeah, so I'm hoping to finish my PhD this year. Um, so I'm uh, looking to stay in San Diego and find a, a company that will help me um, use my experience in robotics and or nanotechnology to, um, in some way to, to help people. And so that's what I'm looking for right now. Well, thank you very much for your time, Caleb. Your research looks amazing and keep, keep doing a good, great job on the seminar series. Uh, thank you.